Good evening, sports fans. My name is Magnitude, a.k.a. Steve, and welcome back to the Miami Marlins MLB, the show franchise. Happy July 4th, all you out there. It is July 4th in the real world. It is the sixth series in the Marlins franchise in this world. Harlan Garcia, 2-1, 2.81 ERA, going against Jowis Chassin of the Brewers. 1-0, 3.06 ERA, the first of four games between these two teams. Cameron Mabin. No, with a great play there by the shortstop on the sixth pitch of the, of the game, Cameron Mabin, first out for the Marlins. Um, after uh, many pitches, it is Lorenzo Kane gets the first out uh, for the Brewers. But then Christian Yelich, the first hit for the Brewers, a single. Paul Garcia, now Ryan Braun, that's going to be back at the track, the wall, off the wall. And Braun is going to be in there for a triple, an RBI triple in the first inning to give the Brewers a one to nothing lead. Later on now in the inning, two outs. Miguel Pena, that is going to be an error by Martin Prado. Going to allow Pena, well Pena is going to reach an error. Braun's going to score two nothing Brewers in the second inning. Derek Diedrich, three two pitch. Taking that one to right center over the fence into the Marlins bullpen and Diedrich hits himself a solo home run and now the Marlins trail only two to one. However, Hernan Perez, there he is. Hernan Perez, another man on third, nobody out. He's gonna hit an RBI double, a screamer. If baseballs could scream, that one would be doing so. The uh, Brewers. Now lead 3-1. They have a man on second base with two outs. Howell, Harlan, the Marlin. Come back from this one. 0-2 pitch to Lorenzo Kane. Strike three after the man moved to third. And then the man on third base, Christian Yelich. Going to fly out weakly there to end the inning. So that will do it for the second. Here in the fourth inning, Justin Bohr, first pitch of the inning. That's... God, that's not even close to staying in. Justin Bohr, number 41. It was top of the fourth inning. The score was 3-1. to one. There you go. We just put two things together that don't match at all. It is 3-2 now. That error looking huge for the Brewers. After Braun's second triple of the game, Jesus Aguilar with an RBI single. And that is going to push the score to 4-2. to two. In the ninth inning, same score, Martin Prado bounces out. That was going to be a base hit from the start, but he bounces out to end the game. And the Brewers lose 4-2. to They drop five straight now. They've lost five in a row, and they fall to 9-9. Nine and nine. The Brewers, they move to 12-8. and eight. I'm pretty sure I dropped a pen of some kind. Ah, it's a phone charge. No big deal. Drop that. That's fine. Happens all the time. The Brewers... 12-8, and, and the Marlins have now lost five straight, which is obviously less than ideal. Not a position that you want to be in if you're a Marlins fan, Marlins player, or part of the Marlins front office. But that is what it is. A poor offensive day by the Marlins. And, of course, guys, check out the website below in the link in the description. And those, uh, it's a link to every single game as they happen in box scores for all those games. But here we go, game two of the series, game 19 of the season. Jose Urena trying to stop the skid of the Marlins. They, they lost five in a row, as I said before. Versus Jimmy Nelson, 1.2 ERA, 3.6. Jimmy Nelson is 1 and 2, 3.86 ERA. Jose Urena is 1 and 1, 3.66 ERA. The first inning, Cameron Maven walks on four pitches. That's what you want to see to open the game. If you're a Marlins fan, Miguel Rojas. It's going to go ahead and take the very next pitch of the game for a single and a, the first hit. And the Marlins have something going here in the first inning. Five pitches. And uh, it's been two base runners. Justin Bohr now, the number three hitter. Runs the count 3-1. Then runs three men home. Justin Bohr, a colossal home run to right field towering blast only 10 pitches were thrown and the marlins lead three to nothing that is insanity 
especially given the Marlins' recent offensive struggles. They now lead 3-0 before the first out has even been recorded, before Urena has even taken the uh, the taking the mound by uh, Louis Brinson, the multi-dimensional Louis Brinson, as they say every time, the I say every time. First out for the Marlins and Derek Diedrich now is gonna be uh, gonna be a man. Is gonna be on. He's gonna be at the plate right there. There he is, a man on first. That's gonna be a simple. Oh, that's a. I mean, that's a deep fly, but yeah, didn't really get much of that. For the out, and finally, the Marlins, the 27 pitches are done in the first inning. There was Justin Boer's mammoth shot. The first batter of the game, Lorenzo Cain, and he's going to try to golf that one up, but uh, Diedrich is going to be there for the out. Lorenzo Cain flying for the first out. Now we go to the second inning. And for the Brewers, here we are, second inning. Orlando Arcia gonna ground up Justin Bohr and the Brewers have, uh, sorry, Urena has dropped the first six Brewers. So much better uh, the way in Shins yesterday. And the Marlins lead 3-0 after two in the third. Jonathan VR takes an 0-2 curveball right past uh, Brian Anderson for the first hit for the Brewers. As they finally have you know, some kind of action on the base paths here. And third later, Lorenzo Cain, the dribbler, right past again the diving Anderson. And it's going to be in the second base, an RBI double for Lorenzo Cain. So good for Lorenzo Cain if you're having him on your fantasy team. In the sixth inning, Derek Diedrich. Seen enough triples out of Ryan Braun today for this series. You can go ahead and get an RBI triple to move the Marlins to a 4 to nothing lead. Four to not, sorry, four to one, I apologize. Diedrich fourth triple the game. How about a suicide squeeze by Brian Anderson to push the lead to five to one? So great, great stuff for Brian Anderson there. Super pumped about what he's got what he's got going on there. In the ninth, the Marlins up seven to four. Kyle Bearclaw flies out to end the game. It's Christian, sorry, Bearclaw gets Christian Yelich to fly to end the game. And finally, the Marlins breaking their five-game slide as they win a game here. And the series is currently tied at one game apiece for both teams. The Marlins advance to 10-9, and nine, so they uh, stave off below 500. They were at one point, let's see, what, 9-9? Nine and nine, They were 9-4 and four at one point, now they're 10-9. and nine, And the Brewers slip to 12-9 and nine, as they have played, obviously, according to math. A few more games than the Marlins. So the Marlins now uh, they have finally won a game and they get the 13 hits in the day to the, uh, the eighth inning was a very productive inning for both teams. If it was not for the two in the top of the eighth, it would have been much closer for Bearclaw in the uh, in the ninth. But here we go. Game 20. Game three of the series. Sandy Alcantara, 2-1, 2.29 ERA versus Chase Anderson, 2-1, 4.44 ERA. Uh, yesterday, Cameron Mabin said uh, he was happy that the Marlins were able to jump out to an early lead in the first inning. If they can do that every single game, they have a much better chance to win games. Thank you, John Madden Mabin. Mabin, the first hit of the Marlins. is going to be a blooper that dropped right in front, right in front of Ryan Braun. And the first hit is Cameron Mabin. Maybe he's got something to do his old theory there. Cameron Mabin is going to go ahead and steal second base. On a fastball, just got a great jump. Steals second base, and now we go to Justin Bohr. Oh, he's been here before. Yes, indeed. There it is. There's the, the pitch and the steal. With one out, Justin Bohr on a 3-2 pitch. Going to move his hitting streak to 11 games. He's going to go ahead and move Cameron Mabin. Now over to third. He is within sacrifice fly territory. And there it is. He's going to hitting streak. That's a nice graphic there for MLB to show. Good stuff there. Lewis Brinson, RBI, single, absolutely. Marlins now lead one to nothing here in the first inning on this Lewis Brinson. And he's probably making some noise. He's been quiet the past few games. But now, Tomas Talese with the bases chucked. 3 2 count. That's a single up the middle, seeing eye style. That's gonna also gonna score two in the process as the Marlins now lead three to nothing. They did this yesterday, and they won. Perhaps. You know, maybe they can tack on more. They got two on. They got one out. However, two outs. Johnny Giavatella. That is going to be an RBI single for Giavatella. And the Marlins now lead four to one. 
in the first inning. Again, Chase Anderson had to throw 39 pitches in that inning. Lorenzo Cain, though, the first out for the Brewers. See, lines up there to Braun on two pitches. And now Ryan Braun, or not, the Boar. But Ryan Braun will be the first hit for the Brewers. He takes a fastball down, and he's going to go ahead and just scoop that one in the center field. The first hit. But he will end up being left there as that, uh, that runner will end up being essentially meaningless. Jonathan VR now. Sorry. That was Jonathan VR. He's out. Justin Bohr with a man on. God, these, there's so much editing that had to go through all these videos. Every now and again, I miss a clip. But Justin Bohr, is, just, he just clubs it. He, it's like he's swinging a club. It's, it's a very impressive and powerful swing. And Justin Bohr gives the Marlins a 6 to nothing lead here. Yeah, Shea Sanderson had a rough, rough day. 88 pitches to Sanderson. Just rough. In the fourth inning, no less. Just a rough day for him. That ball was clobbered. Good God. Jesus Christ. One more time. Why not? Let's just see that in slow. Just clubs it. How about in the sixth inning? Cameron, maybe that's a home run too. And it is. It is a two-run home run. And the Marlins push their lead to eight to nothing in the sixth inning. They really really are pouring it on now after uh, after a 7-3 win the day prior. They now lead 8-0. They're really helping their pitchers out because the bullpen has been a little less than stellar lately and they're really, really trying to make that a non-factor. And That's the way to do it by swinging up a shitload of runs. That ball booted off a of, uh, Gio Vitella's glove. So a run scores. RBI, they gave him a single. RBI single. 8-1 to one Marlins. Ryan Braun is just very... Very, very productive. God, God. In the ninth inning, though. How about that? In the ninth inning. Let's escape the ninth. There it is. It's going to be Brad Ziegler. going to get Jeff Bandy. Jet Bandy. The ground to game and a double play. The Marlins win 11-3. Yeah, a lot more runs happened. They did, but they really got made nothing. No, eh, kind of that doesn't make a difference. The Marlins, two wins in a row now. They move to 11-9 and nine through their first 20 games of the season. If you extrapolate that through 162 games, you get about uh, 8, so you get 16 games over 500. And by the end of the year, that may be good enough for a playoff spot, because certainly had a 5-game losing streak in there, and then opened the, game, opened the year by losing the first three in a row. The Marlins, now one game away from taking 3 out of 4 against the Brewers here in Milwaukee. The Brewers fall to 10, sorry, 12 and 2. Look at that, they put up 3 in the ninth. Why not? Just... Just in case, just three in the ninth, just to be safe, you know what I mean? Game 21, game four of the series, Wei and Chen, one and three, four, point four four ERA versus Brett Suter, S-U-T-E-R, Suter, one and one, five, point five six ERA, so uh, the worst ERA of the bunch of the Brewers pitchers, and based on the number of runs that were scored, what is going on? With that graphic on the side, that red that red block's a little weird. But Miguel Rojas, the first Marlins hit. Just gonna go in little, just just kind of scoop a fly ball to right field. Brian Anderson, two on, full count, two outs, and he will fly weakly, casually, and non-threateningly to right field. That's a bummer for Marlins fans around the country. All eleven of you. It's really a bummer. Two hits. Could not scratch anything across. Justin Bohr today with a day off. How about that? Hitting streak will stay intact, no matter what. How about Wei Yin Chen? First three pitches, all strikes. What a changeup. Just Jonathan VR striking out on three pitches. For the first out of the, for the Brewers. So a very commanding uh, use of the pitches by Wei Yin Chen. English is not my first language, apparently. But Carlos Santana, not baseball, not his first sport. As he strikes out looking in the inning, Wei and Chen, two strikeouts and eight pitches, not bad. It's called efficiency. We win the fourth inning. That's Brian Anderson, the two-run home run, a two-nothing Marlins lead. We go all the way to the fourth. Brent Brett Suter was uh, you know cruising along, and then he ran to the Brian Anderson show, two-run home run, two-nothing Marlins later in the fourth inning. JT Rio Muto. Man on second base. It's a single. 
in the left field, and he is, the runner is sent. The cutoff man is hit, and uh, Castro gunned down at the plate. So the Marlins only lead 2-0 still in the fifth inning. Pinch hitter Ryan Braun. How many times have I said in this series, Ryan Braun with a triple. A triple. This one, pinch hit triple to score two. And that is going to give the... That, I, the fact that the guy from third still scores from here is just nuts. Get a cutoff man, man. He's just so fast. So fast. The game is tied 2-2. Two two. Jonathan VR, remember him? He struck out on three pitches to open the game. How about Jonathan VR with a man on third and one out? Takes an RBI double. Golf sits. Yeah, right past the diving Diedrich. What are you going to do? That hits, uh, that's his third RBI of the season. By the graphic, that's right behind, um, right behind Cameron Maven back there. So. The Marlins on lead. The Rollins trail 3-2, to two, but how about Solomon Castro? Poking one to right field, the Marlins then tie the game at three here in the sixth inning, and they have runners in the corners with only one out. They are unable to score that man at third. How about in the seventh? Jonathan Villar again, an RBI single, his fourth RBI of the year. Brewers lead 5-3, not done in the seventh. Hernan Perez have not heard his name uh, in a while, he hits uh, an RBI single. It's 5-3, to three, Brewers. And now, heading into the ninth, it is Johnny Giavatella. That's Domingo Santana. No one cares about that. No one cares about that. There it is, Johnny Giavatella. Here we go. 0-2 pitch. Two outs. Boone Logan just stifling the Marlins this series, Matthew. And that will be the game. So the Brewers, the down 2-0, take a 3-2 lead. The Marlins then come back, tie it up at 3, and then um, the bullpen, unfortunately, let that one go. But the Brewers come back, and uh, the Marlins and Brewers split the series. So the Marlins fall to 11-10 as they have played 21 games. The Brewers to 13-10 uh, as they have played 23 games. Again, guys, that is how math works. And really, in the uh, sixth inning, when the Marlins had runners in the corner with one out, and they could not push across that fourth run, that really was huge for them. And uh, unfortunately, you know, Boone Logan, just a second save of the series, second save of the season, but really is not giving up a run yet. It's been like nine or ten innings of his not giving up a run. But that being said, let's just let this one roll out. Player that that Javi Javi Guerrero, not a good outing as you guys saw. But here we go, the stats of the season of the series. They both went 2-2, two and, two. and of course on the season they're 2 and two against each other. The first time they played each other all season, the Brewers, which run it down, had scored 16 runs to the 23 of the Marlins. The Brewers had 36 hits to the 50 of the Marlins. The Brewers batted 261 to 316 of the Marlins. The Brewers had one home run to the 4 of the Marlins. The Brewers' team ERA was 5.75 to the 4.23 of the Marlins. Brewers pitchers had 19 strikeouts. The Marlins pitchers had 31 strikeouts. The largest margin victory for the Brewers was two, with the uh, five to three win. And the largest margin victory was eight for the Marlins with the 11 three win. Guys, this has been the sixth series. We play three against the Dodgers. Coming up next, sure to be subscribed for more if you want to take a look at that. Check out the website for uh, game box scores for all the games and all that great stuff. And I'll see you guys next time. Good night.